What's up everybody? So today what I'm going to be going through in this video is showing you some of the benefits of using Airtable in your business. So if you're looking to scale it, if you're looking to systematize some of your processes in your business, this video is going to be for you. So if you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green. I'm the owner of Optimize IS. And what we do is we help business owners grow their business, optimize their systems and tools like Airtable or Asana or Slack or Toggle and really integrate them get one really cohesive system in there. And then another thing we help them with is doing a lot of KPI integration. So with all of these tools being connected, one of the biggest benefits is being able to see like dashboards of all of your KPIs from, from whether it's your time, your revenue, or any of your values. You can get a lot of key value indicators in there. So if you're interested in any services, you can check out the link down in the description and request a consultation from me or someone on my team. But without further ado, we're going to get right in the video now. So jumping into Airtable here, what we have is we just have a simple Airtable base. And what I wanted to show you guys was uh, the three benefits. Really, the first one that I see is I, so a lot of times I've been comparing Airtable to the city of Indianapolis, Indiana. Now, in, pa in the past, Indianapolis was known as like the crossroads of America. And that's because there's just so many highways going through it, coming in, going out. The other side and it's just like kind of a like if you're trying to go across the US you probably go through Indianapolis so that's what I think of when I think of Airtable as well I think of Airtable and I'm also from Indiana so it fits well which is another reason I'm currently living in Bloomington Indiana just south of Indy so that's why I make, make that analogy but for Airtable specifically what we have in here is like a place where you can connect so many different systems through the API and through webhooks. And I, those might be the same thing, but like using Zapier, using Integromat, using just like custom integration scripting. Uh, I don't get into the scripting stuff because that's nobody wants to learn how to script. So everything in here, you can really create like a really good business hub in Airtable because there's so many different streams of information coming in and you can get so many streams of information going out um, and so that's like evident in a lot of my videos I've shown how to do these automations over here so like with triggers with actions and all of that but the biggest benefit is just having like one location where you can kind of pull these different levers and do stuff in your business such as like click this button and it onboards a client click this button and it sends this email click this button and it does does this. Change this status and then these five different things are changed. Move this client to this location and it triggers all of this stuff in Asana to like duplicate projects or anything. At this time, you see, so you get my point, you can really connect it with a lot of other systems and just have a lot of your day-to-day -day processes where you're just clicking, especially clicking and copying and pasting uh, or like duplicating or all of that can really be just automated. So that's the first thing I see as like a business hub in here. Like for example, this one's just a CRM and there's just a few different tables in here to make the CRM work. Um, the next biggest benefit that I see is being able to do reporting. So in here, I have a few different reporting metrics based on like the day or the week or the month. So these are two reporting metrics. There's like the amount collected kind of, and the like to get a good idea of where the sales process is at. So whether it's on the months tab up here or the day tab, we can get some really good reporting metrics out of Airtable. So in addition to it, like being a central hub for all of our data, we can get a lot of good visualizations, especially if we were to add an app up here and see visualizations in a chart. And what this is really going to allow you to do as a business owner is you're going to be able to make a lot better decisions in your business. Like if you're not able to see into your data and you're just making decisions off of like your feeling, you're like, yeah, I feel like we brought enough uh, revenue in the past few months to hire this person, for example. Like I just went through hiring a, another developer uh, to join my team. But if I didn't have the numbers in my Airtable, and this isn't my Airtable base that I use for my CRM, but if I didn't have those numbers, I wouldn't be able to make that decision with evidence that I can provide for him and provide for myself and pro provide for the other people on my team. So 
that's one of the biggest benefits that I see all of my clients gaining with Airtable is they just get like really good insights into their numbers. They get to know insights into their trends and they get to, I think one of the other things is people don't realize, like people don't know what they don't know. Um, and, and a lot of times people will come to me and they don't know exactly what metrics they don't know. So that's something that I've been working on with a lot of my clients is taking them through this values framework of figuring out what they value and then how can we measure that value. But that's for, that's for another video. So the first thing that we talked about was Airtable just being a central hub for all of your data. And the second thing was being able to make these decisions, have this KPI integration in here in Airtable uh, with like being able to see these live statistics like week in, week out. Now the other really great benefit of Airtable is you can create many different, like you can create like, like essentially like an app for each one of the systems you need. So if we come back over here to the, the one we just saw, so the CRM over here, this is a CRM, like this is a fully functioning CRM. We could connect this with like HubSpot if we wanted to. We could connect it with like ConvertKit or any any email provider. We could connect it with any payment processor for the revenue. We could connect it with any e-signature platform. We could connect it with all this stuff. And that's just on the CRM side. In addition, we can connect it with like a project management tool. So if we wanted to have all of our like clients and all of their projects and all of the tasks associated with those projects in here, we could. Or we can connect this with like Asana or Trello or I want to say like Basecamp or Monday.com. I don't know if they all have APIs, but you can really create like these little custom apps that way you're not paying for 10 different softwares to manage all this stuff. You can just come into one place and you can toggle between your different bases in Airtable. You can toggle between like this one and this, so like the sales CRM, your project tracker. And I think most often what I see people wanting to build is a whole business manager. So not just project tracker, not just CRM, but everybody needs something to be able to track the numbers in your service delivery side. So like the client fulfillment, the service delivery side of your business, there should be like quantifiable end results or like quantifiable just metrics that you can be tracking to see the customer journey, to see that customer life cycle and be able to map it out. So that's a lot of times what I see people building. So again, to go over those three things that I see highly beneficial for businesses to use Airtable for, the first one is having that central business hub connecting with all these different systems. The second biggest thing is having the insights into like the, the KPIs. And again, we take, take our clients through a, a few different, well, like one main framework to that has very, very much proven itself with the results that they get after working with us, but to get those KPIs to make sure they align with their values um, to get all of that built here in Airtable. Then the last thing is creating all of your different business processes in Airtable, being able to manage all of those processes from one central dashboard. It's just truly incredible. I think that alone is worth like four times the price of Airtable, um, but that's just for me. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are getting value from this, I encourage you to hit the subscribe button and hit the like button and maybe share it with a friend who you think could benefit from using Airtable. Maybe they're, you have someone who's curious about like, what can Airtable do for my business? And really if they're not tracking their, if they don't know their numbers, if they don't have like specific measurable KPIs that align with their values that they're tracking, and they kind of either do everything like off of spreadsheets or off of a notepad, like maybe they just journal about everything in their business, then they really need to get some of these systems set up. If they need a guide to do it, send them this video and it'll give them at least the introduction to it. If they want more, then that's, that's totally up to them. But I encourage you to send this to anyone you think can benefit from knowing their numbers, who wants to scale their business to the next level and I'll see you in the next one.